You're asking about California, which really does lead the nation in a lot of ways, and then the nation leads the world. And some of the things are good, and maybe some of them aren't. One thing California has done back in 1996 was pass Proposition 215, which is a medical marijuana program. It still has not been implemented, and it's really shocking because the people who are involved with law enforcement are required to follow the law, even if they by chance do not agree with it. And in, in many ways, that has not happened. Other things that California has led the way in is, for example, education with regard to a really dangerous, sometimes addicting drug, namely tobacco, nicotine. And we're making real progress with regard to that dangerous drug, not by making it illegal, but by involving ourselves with honest education, treatment, and programs of that kind. We should do the same thing with regard to these other drugs, because that's something that really does work. I have had people come to me as a judge, as an, someone who is very much in favor of change. And I have to tell them, of course, I cannot practice law as a judge and I can't give them legal advice. I recommend they go see an attorney. But I also, if they are involved in medical marijuana, suggest to them that they go to the chief of police in the city in which they live, telling them, this is who I am, this is my medical certificate from the medical doctor, this is my problem, what do you want me to do, chief? And uh, that has been received very well with some chiefs in some cities, uh, not real well with others. But that is my advice to people. It is legal. It is constitutional in the state of California now to be involved with medical marijuana and to be a caregiver. And we need to really focus upon a definition because, yes, there are some people who will take advantage of that. Okay? That's no big surprise. People do that. But there are a lot of really hurting people out in our society that are really having problems because we in the criminal justice system cannot get our act together and give them a program and a procedure to follow. It's virtually heartless. What our federal government is doing is heartless. And I would strongly recommend to the federal government that they allow medical doctors to practice their profession. If you had someone who was seriously ill in your family from chemotherapy effects or with AIDS and the, and the dwindling of, of uh, the appetite or with glaucoma or any of these numbers of things, wouldn't you rather have a medical doctor decide how best to treat you instead of a police officer? As a result, the president should now, right this minute, by a stroke of a pen, delegate the authority to who decides what schedule a particular drug will be on, delegate it from the head of the DEA to the Surgeon General. Doesn't it make sense to have a medical doctor make these decisions instead of a police officer? I have shocked my children. This is quite a few years ago, but I had a full-page picture on High Times magazine <laughs> and uh, nobody could quite believe that. And of course, I've never used any illegal drug in my life, and I'm not interested in it anyway. In fact, you could bless it by the Pope and give it away in the street corner, and I'm just not going to jam cocaine up my nose. I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. Most people want to help. What should we do? And the answer is right away, to make marijuana a Schedule II or Schedule III drug which would allow a medical doctor to prescribe it and allow medical doctors again to practice their profession. What would I do if I were the king of the, of the country? Uh, I would treat marijuana like alcohol. Would I go beyond that with other drugs? Personally, yes, because I have looked at this, thought about it, seen it for so long. But others are scared, and I understand that. Let's start with marijuana and find out what happens. I will absolutely guarantee you or anyone else that will listen that within four or five years of treating marijuana like alcohol, everybody in the country will link arms together and say, you know, it's working. Have all the problems gone away? Certainly not, because there's no panacea, there's no solution, but we're, we're making progress.